bottom lane, the extra region they're getting from Hedris and the Chen's aura will keep Slark alive. Uh, March will be pulling the lane back. Uh, and the, the most important thing is that they get uh, levels on the bottom lane. Nice arrow on March. Oh, sure. Uh, he can yeah, he man fight him at the moment. Do you think we'll be seeing a Void Spirit Aghanims in this one? Not necessarily a first item, but uh, Yule Scepter to, to set things up with Ether Remnant, and uh, second item Aghanims is fine. <laughs> Speaking of a timer, Anna, permanent agility, getting those uh, stacks start to build up just at one so far, but it's uh, only a matter of time, you feel. You have to start somewhere. Let me just check that real quick so I don't uh, look dumb twice in a row. <laughs> no, it's, it's like, it was nerfed damage-wise by like 10, but they also upped the crit by 10%. And as we're talking, it fight's happening right outside the Roche pit. Armel, he's in a little bit of trouble having to pop the Stampede to be able to make him live, but they decided yeah, just to back off for now. Okay, this one is extremely farmed. Uh, this road of Atos might uh, help them, keeping them in place. They are controlling the outpost to get the, the vision of that area. Seems like that's gonna be our first clash. Prepare your hypest hype. Yeah, he's leading into it, uses the stun onto the Chen. Doesn't really do all that much against it, though. They catch a lot of people in the Pit of Malice, get all of the heals off as well, and man, he's already down at 25% HP. He could get picked off if he's not too careful. You got KP running in. They already used the uh, Stampede, and Ocarino, he's going to try and bring his team away with a Dark Rift. Will they catch everyone? Whoa, no, now he goes down just beforehand. Oh, trying to get him just on the edge there. We've seen, you know, Ana very, very capable. Is there a counter smoke perhaps coming out here from TNC? No, not quite. I thought they were grouping up for an express purpose, but actually they're going to be the ones getting oh, caught nice out here. Arrow coming arrow. together. Yeah, but don't have the follow up on it. And if anything, Ana's the one chasing in. He actually gets pushed out of the pit of malice. And could he live because of it? Great stun coming out from KP, catching on to Bok, as well as this Barana here, and they'll both get picked up. That's more permanent agility for Ana. He's going to continue the chase, following up after them. There's the Yule Scepter coming in clutch. Yeah, hits on to Mac as well, and he wants more. KP, he's moving forward, ready with his Blink Dagger. Will he be able to catch out the Keeper of the Light? Oh, Essence Ring. That's a very good, good again. item. Here we go, they're going in again onto this Ember Spirit, and that uh, magic block won't save you now. They're chasing onto Bokarina as well. He's not like a centaur, he can't just pop his ultimate and run away. He's gonna get caught out by the rest of the team. Tim's, of course, contributing a lot to the team fight with that Fate Bolt right at the end. They got things to do, they got places to be. Oh, Ana, he's going in deep. I love this, they probably just told him, look, just, just dive in, we'll be able to save you every single time. Oh, he gets him with the Orchid. So I'm still far away from that uh, BKB. If the Halberd uh, comes before, he could just completely cripple him in a fight. Mm -hmm. Trying to go again onto the Centaur. No arrow this time just yet to be able to combo him down. Here comes the arrow right at the end. And they're going to be able to pick off KP. So that's another 50 seconds that they've bought themselves. And I'm sure that Natsumi is going to maybe try and farm up that BKB, but not quite. They're actually trying to continue the aggression straight away. Simulate. Ah, he couldn't get it. Well, it's only the Aegis though, and they've got the rest of the team backing him up now. Ana, he's here on the back line, ready to try and get some essence stacks up onto Bokarino. He's just whacking away as much as he can, and that's a lot stolen. He gravitates straight away through onto Mac, and he pops. Or creating space for the rest of his team to come into it, because you can see Ember Spirit, he's well behind. Speaking of people being behind though, KP caught behind enemy lines, and Slark. He's just oh. in the middle of this pit of balance. He's cleft. They they forced oh. him on the high ground, but drag him down. They drag him down. Could that was that the right play though? He's able to now get away, popping his BKB using the Superman launch through onto the creep wave. He'll be able to live for now. Slark. He's continuing to chase through. Still got that bottle charge on the Void Spirit if they're trying to get a bit more damage through with the illusions. And well, Slark, he jumps through onto the Ember Spirit. This is the team fight that oh, never nice. ends. KP jumps again. through onto him. The Willow Wisp coming out a little bit too late, catching him with two inside the Pit of Malice as well. But the sustain on TNC is absolutely insane. And still a minute until this Ember Spirit's going to become back online. Sven goes down, dead for a minute. Bokarino, him as well, 50 seconds. Arnor, he's going to pounce onto this Marana, and that could be GG right there. 
Clark is way too tanky. Like, he can go in, do whatever he wants. Uh, he knows that they will back him up uh, almost 3,000 HP with 39 armor. So even if Sven starts hitting him, like, there's no way they kill him. The uh, positioning uh, from March was uh, extremely good. Even though it's Anna Spectre, uh, Necro should do amazing job this game. And we can see most of the cores are relatively similar net worth. Uh, Droid's core is a little bit behind, but shouldn't be that way for too long, especially after they get the kill onto KP on the bot side. Yeah, both of these um, need to be, uh, both of these teams need to be Armel, very... Upside, okay. they're going into Ocarina. This is That's what I was about rotation. to say. This Necro, yeah, he, he's, I think uh, if we had to say, like, uh, who's the biggest one, I would say Phantom Lancer, Necro, then Kanka, because Kanka will play more of this, uh, like, build that uh, he goes for whatever his team needs. And, uh, like, Necro will become a real carry, even though he's gonna go for this supportive items, not enough damage, though. Well, they've tried to kill Ana, but he lives on 30% HP. They pop the Reaper Scythe to try and do it, and now Boomy's gonna pay the price, most likely. Still another few seconds until that fish is back online and he'll get picked off. TNC was ready for that kind of rotation. They expected it to happen. Chen now level five and a half. First Reaper site not successful. They even have the haunt uh, ready and Anna bringing uh, his full power treads. Level KP, seven. He's in a little bit of trouble. Yeah. Gets dive. Ghost ship expended, but still relatively short cooldown on it. 80 seconds. Yeah, oh, Arno, is he going to be caught up by this torrent? No, just going to steal the uh, the last hit there on the Centaur creep. Gets caught by the X-Marks though, and they're going in. Be able to finish it off. They get the Spirit Vessel onto him, but don't think it'll be quite enough. Boomy, he's still got that uh, Blink Dagger available in a couple of seconds, and Arno, he's caught between a rock and a hard place. Able to get away, perhaps, There's the Necro this uh, haunt. Necro ulti, oh, he haunts back again. Chen ulti is ready. Still hasn't used it. Use the Echo Slam, so it's still gonna be ready. Both ready in 15 seconds. The only long cooldown that is not ready right now is Reaper Sight. Yeah, they've got the Torrent. Decent little spell to have, but KP is just having his mana train right now from this defusal. Here we go. Arna's here and available. Doesn't have the Haunt though, so a lot less of a, a threat than what he might have uh, previously been in the team fight. Armel, he's gone in really deep trying to pick off this. Uh, Necro, but the ghost ship, that's going to provide a ton of sustain with the Coco Rum coming through. You can see everyone focusing in, yeah, onto the Void Spirit. He goes down. He might have to buy back here to make uh, an impact in this team fight. but there's the uh, False Promise onto the Phantom Lancer. He's still got the Aegis even, so he, uh, even if he went down, he would have had that second life. Boccarino goes down on the Necrophos, and Maybe they'll be able to pick off this Conqueror as well, which would be a decent little... Uh, Two buybacks. It was a nicely yeah. stolen Fisher from Thames who blocked off Necro. Like, Necro was yeah. way too deep. But once they're again, godlike plays from Thames. Yeah, they've got the uh, the Yules, and they're going to be able to combo down this Oracle, you would think. He's just walking around. I think he's... He's uh, given himself up to his fate. Uh, this benefits TNC much more. They... Forced one buyback, they're still buying time for Spectre to get an extra item and also the heroes who oh, use the buybacks on their side want to have him again. Trouble. Right, he does not have a buyback now. He helped to push the lanes in even further before that uh, Mantis style comes up online. They're not stopping, Void Spirit is out in a couple of seconds, not sure that's going to be enough. Like, they have yeah. all their ultis ready besides Echo Slam, which will be ready in three seconds. Yeah, that is true. Rubik not wanting to use his buyback, considering he was only 10 seconds away, but nice Echo Slam use. They're able to pick up Armel. Can potentially buyback? No, it's still actually three minutes away. So that uh, extra timer on it means that he's dead for 70 seconds. And got Tim's available with just that Blink Dagger and Aether Lens, and he's not going to make too much of an impact in these team fights, you wouldn't think. Yeah. Get a nice Fisher off, but it's not going to be enough. AP, he's just getting slowly picked off by this uh, Phantom Lancer. Lots of little ticks of damage coming through onto him. Ana as well. He's got that uh, Spirit Vessel onto him. The Hand of God coming a little bit too late, and a lot of the heal negated by that uh, Spirit Vessel charge. 
Steal the buyback though. Big items coming on their side besides that Manta style, which is not a game by any means. Yeah. You can see here TNC's positioning. They're on the front side, trying to tank up a lot of this stuff that's coming out from Adroit. March, he might go down before getting off too many major things. And yeah, that's two heroes down on TNC. He's uh, saved enough for buyback. So he's going to go in without the horn, you would think. Try and be this frontliner as much as he can. And he doesn't have mana. Yeah, he's out. He's got the soul ring if he needs to. But uh, you don't want to be sacrificing too much health. And oh, he doesn't go down from the uh, the necro ulti with the healing hand coming through for him. But KB, he is stuck in a rough position. Ana, he's gone in deep. They're trying to pick off this Stolen oracle, side. but. Yeah, stolen side. Didn't do all that much though. They get the uh, ulti from the Echo but onto him. They pop the BKB as well on Boomy. So second item BKB being picked up from him. He'll still go down as a result of it. KP, he's teetering on about 50 HP. Will he even go down? A lot of little illusions hitting him. He's going to make his way back to the base. TNC holding on by the tips of their fingers and March, he's just trying to distract them as much as he can from the objective that they need to be taking, which is that barracks. They use the, the three the buybacks, still cheese and ages some of them, but this game is over. I don't see them coming back. Yeah, you would have to think so, Ana. He's reached up to that level 20. He's got the 500 health, but it won't be enough. Use the break onto the Void Spirit, so reduced uh, health regen now from the Chen, but I don't even think he had anything to be able to use it, and he's going to go down again. Ana, he's sitting curiously low, only about 600 HP. Will it be enough? He's just going to continue running, and KP is a sitting duck. No buyback available for him, and he's going to go down. Armel, he's in a bit of a tough position as well. 500 gold buyback surplus for him, so he's going to be the aggressive one here in this team fight, but I don't think it'll be enough. Just got one racks left. They've still got so many tools available to them. Yeah, that age yeah, is still there it is. Double G's there it drop. Is. See the late game, and uh, that he should not die. He died only once. Man, it's gonna be Shadow Demon 5, Magnus uh, 4, Ogre's gonna be playing position 3. Yeah, I mean, very, very possible. You feel like you need to get it into exactly the right one. Chen's been caught out here by a disruption into a stun. March might still be okay. Will he get blocked by his own creep? The Shadow Poison, not quite enough to be able to pick him off. Having to use the slow onto Baccarino to be able to slow him down. Some body blocks coming through from uh, Honor as well. One is not enough. Like, who can kite that much? You have a Phantom Lancer with the Doppelganger, Mirana with the Leap. Other heroes, they need to stand still. Oh, and I get stunned up by a neutral creep. Still should be doing okay, getting closer and closer to that Diffusal Blade, but it looks like they're pretty keen, wanting to fight. They don't have the Reverse Polarity just yet, but they're going to be able to take out Ana, you would think, in the meantime. Yeah, not having the Hand of God available on March just yet. It looks like he'll be going down as well. Arna still sitting on the bottom side, so biding his time to be able to come and join this fight, if he even does in the end. TNC just wanting to delay as much as he can. You can see KP perhaps trying to take the outpost so that uh, Arna could have something to TP to, but uh, not able to do it in time. KP, he's walking back, trying to get something happening for himself, but no, it's another two heroes being picked off. They're going for more as well. Mars being picked off by the Yule Scepter. Nothing used just yet in terms of big cooldowns to be able to pick him off. Nice stun coming through to buy him. Just another couple of seconds of time. But yep, still look at the bottom. Tier 3 tower. Anna putting a lot of pressure. I mean, he's not joining the fights. Uh... Then a spirit vessel is not going to gain too many charges with only three heroes. They've gone in, used the uh, Mars ultimate here just to actually run away, it seems. The root getting put onto Armel here. He might be in a little bit of trouble. And the blink forward and stun from Baccarino should be able to pick him up. Oh, he's going to be able to survive. The hand of God just a little bit short from being able to be put up for him. And really nice RP coming out there. Will he be able to pick up March? Yes, eventually he does go down. Natsumi was forced to use the uh, ultimate there, but Aegis, he's still able to run away with it. It's a lot of slow coming on from Ogre. Arrow connects on Void Spirit. Nice disruption. Here are Yules go off here. Mac tried to get something to go on off onto Tim's and he's forced to run away. Uses all three leap charges, but it's not going to be enough. Dust used onto him. He's going to go down. And, uh, the pressure continues. You can see the line drawn right in the mid lane by the Centaur. He wants to continue the aggression and take this tier two tower. And once again, Anna is going to be on the bottom lane. These illusions are going to disappear so quickly. 
Oh, Bok might be in a position to get caught out here. He you know, tries to use the TP, but that should be enough to be able to take him down. You can see the rotation coming through from Adroit. They were trying to move in quickly enough. One, uh, one big change that uh, I'm interested to see how teams adapt to it is the... Oh, no, there's a team fight happening again. It's uh, Mars that gets caught out. He's not even going to get off any of his abilities. Finally, the Hand of God gets used by the Chen. They've been able to pick off this uh, troll onto the side here, but nice use of the disruption to be able to stop a lot of the aggression from coming out. Forcing the uh, Battle Trance and nice kite from Tim's. Able to kite him further into uh, TNC territory, and now they're in a position to perhaps take him down. He's very, very low on mana. That Diffusal Blade coming in real handy. Uh, disruption already being used onto Armel, so it's not being able to use in a defensive capacity to save Natsumi. Down he goes, and here, this might be the timer that TNC needed to start to put the aggression onto this mid lane. Oh, that damage. Pushing in on its own. This time, though, Ana, he's in the vicinity. He's able to take a team fight if he wants. They've spotted out the fact that Roshan's very low. Ana, a little bit too late, though, Armel. He's uh, got off the a pretty nice ring of blood, but going to be able to do too much in this team fight. Ana, he's looking for the right time to go in and finish this off. Centaur sitting very, very low, having to use the disruption to try and save him. And he's in comes ready. Natsumi, he's still got, yeah, he's still got a couple of seconds left on that double damage. So he's going to do as much as he can. Nice crowd control coming through though from KP to try and stop a lot of this coming through. All nearly connected onto two with that RP, but only hit the uh, Ogre Magi KP there. Would have been huge if they got it onto KP, but not quite enough. This is a long team fight, but very few deaths. Only the Shadow Demon going down so far, and Natsby still sitting very, very healthy. Finally picks off KP. Tims, he's only got one charge left of that leap, having to use it. Ana sitting very, very low. He's hit up on Twist level 20, so he's got that Phantom Rush range for that extra kite ability. Will they continue on to the Earth? Uh, the Void Spirit doesn't seem like they're all that keen to. And they go, continuing, going very aggressively in onto the backline is Ana. His insane plays continue, Man, missing with the so uh, arrow though. A little bit unfortunate. Natsumi, he's caught inside the Ring of Blood once more and he's gonna be going down. Just that long that you could get two Arena of Bloods in one single team fight is absolutely nuts to me. Mac, he's sitting very, very low, goes down. No cheese on him. And that, uh, that Radiance on the Void Spirit as well is going to do a lot against these always gone forward very aggressively. They're trying to pick off Ana, and they've actually found the right one. So they're going to continue the aggression onto him, and will he be picked off here? Looks like it. He didn't buy back previously, so he still does have it in his arsenal. Definitely the Void Spirit. They actually connect the, uh, the arrow onto Roshan instead, and Tim, he's been caught out. It's the uh, push away but it's not going to be enough to be able to survive, or will it? They actually get oh, the uh, Arena of Blood. Yeah, onto Mac here. They've got the uh, arrow as well. It's going to connect onto... Oh, no one, actually. It stopped just short of the Magnus, and they pop the BKB on Natsumi as well. This is huge. What uh, his next plan of action could be. It's another smoke. Smoke on smokes here happening. Double Void Remnants inside the pit. Uh, maybe just using the uh, the illusions to clear out some of it, some of the space. Oh, that's a long hoop stop rotation. RP connects onto RP. two. Yeah, Chan's gonna go down. KP forced to use the buyback. They didn't end up you uh, taking the outpost entirely, so KP able to have some sort of an impact in this fight. Ana, oh, no, he's continuing to move forward, trying to take out as much of the team as he can, but he's gonna go down. Two minutes on the sidelines, but he buys back Armel. He's in the middle of five different heroes here in a precarious position. 15 seconds left on his Satanic, which will make him maybe able to live if he's able to get it off one more time. Ana, it's just a few more seconds until he's able to get back in. Maybe he's just saying, look, continue to carry out all this space. I'm trying to take Roshan. I use my buyback. I need to be able to have this, but Tims, he's standing in on the front Roche. lines. He wants to take up a lot it's of this. Go down. down it goes. Yeah, he picks it up. He's still got the refresher shot inside the pit. That'd be huge to have. He uses the Abyssal onto the Void Spirit who jumped in trying to take a lot here. He's able to use the... Uh, oh, he uses it onto the same spot and uh, picks it up. Oh, they've gone in onto Ana. This could be an absolute disaster. He's got the buyback available, but you don't want to be using it at this point. He's gone down. Oh, they've got to continue the aggression here onto Tim's. He's gone down as well. So over 100 seconds on both heroes on the sidelines. Lane's somewhat pushed in in mid, but on bot's side, it's a lot more vulnerable for them. Box sitting on the front line. They're forcing the buyback out of the Marana to start with. Ana, of course, you want to be him to be the big turner in these team fights. And it doesn't seem like it's going to be the case just yet. 
just trying to chip at these towers. Natsumi sitting on the backside. They get a double hex off, it seems. Onto a few things. Natsumi, he's able to shake it off, though. Could this be the time for Ana to buy back? I think it's now or never if he's going to be able to. He'll be waiting until Mars goes down one time, just trying to delay it out as much as possible. Get a lot of these cooldowns done. Really nice disruption coming out here straight after the hex. And uh, Mars, well, you might be locked in with them inside the Arena of Blood in a much more risky position. KB, he's going to buy back immediately, but... And this is a lot of space and time being got for Ana. He finally is forced to buy back here. And now you can see a droid starting to back off from the team fight. This arrow, arrow doesn't connect onto anyone. No, just misses out. Able to sidestep it. And they're going in one more oh, time. Not nothing hitting with onto RP. anyone. Yeah, he's got the refresher shard. If he wants to use it one more time, could use it right where he's standing. But uh, he's still got the blink dagger up online. He's sitting invisible at the moment. This could be the big turnaround in the team fight if he uses it. Oh, he's just walking up into him. He uses it, connects onto a couple. Could this be the burst down? Chan buys back. Mirana, no buyback, but they don't get the key cores. They aren't able to finish them off. Ana in a precarious position, able to walk back. He's on 28, level 28. He gets caught out with the uh, the Void Remnant. Everything is happening in these team fights. Max so trying to chase low. down Ana. They're so low, both of them. It's a game of chicken on both ends. Everyone is dying around except for Ana. He's able to get back into the base. He's sure he's going to buy up a health potion, try and join these team fights back as quick as he can. But in the meantime, they're taking out a lot of these different heroes. Chen goes down. It's Mars and PL against the world at this point. They've got the bottom racks. They're pushing into the mid. Natsumi still lives with this divine rapier. If they can catch him, he's dead. There's the bash. There's the bash. He goes down. That's it. They get it. The GG is finally called. 63 minutes into the game. Troll Wallet still holding the spider legs, but he didn't even need him. Divine Rapier is all that you need up in a game like this. Adroit beat TNC and move forward into the next stage. What a game.